Thank you, Stefan, uh, for uh, inviting me to this conference. And I'm very pleased to, uh, uh, to present my latest uh, research result. And also thank you for rescheduling my talk. I was wondering in the morning, I have only 15 minutes, uh, 10 minutes. No, no, so no, finally, no. You, uh, you gave me a chance to talk in the afternoon. Thank you for the reorganization of, the, of the, my talk. Sorry, we worried. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, teaching at the uh, Doshia Business School in Kyoto, Japan, and uh, uh, we created an English MBA program last year, and one of the main core course of our new English MBA program is Green MBA program, which, which I'm direct, uh, directing. And I was just, I was just uh, thinking that monetary reform has to be the one of the main core uh, subject of my new sustainable and green business. So that's what we are thinking. So in this way, uh, our business school will provide a different uh, pers perspective of sustainable business. <coughs> well, I have a little bit uh, a cough, so maybe I, uh, I have to apologize before I, I, I got more coughs. So let me start with uh, my, my very simple background. I have been working on this system dynamics uh, modeling since 2004. And so this is a, a model uh, I started creating, starting with uh, the model in New York. This was a certain uh, uh, research paper of my uh, modeling in my, uh, macroeconomics because I use system dynamics to uh, model the financial statement, which consists of balance sheet, uh, income statement and uh, cash flow statement. So if we use uh, system dynamics as a modeling method, there are no way to distinguish those three accounts. So all have to put in together. This is how system capture. So with this uh, uh, research on double booking accounting system, I started a uh, series of macroeconomic modeling. And meanwhile, the, okay, and the, Today's paper is based, up, based on this model, and I'm going to present the whole complete uh, uh, model of uh, uh, the idea of make a monetary act on this one, which probably I'll do it next, uh, next year, which includes all trading uh, uh, relations. Okay. So he's the uh, founder of the uh, uh, System Dynamics at MIT, he is currently around uh, 19 years, nine, 90 years old, but still he is very active on our uh, mailing, uh, mailing list. So I met him in the uh, year 2005 while I'm doing my series of uh, macroeconomic modeling because someone told me that macroeconomic modeling has been already done, already underway by by uh, Professor Jay Forrester, and uh, I have to meet him to figure out whether my method is uh, uh, the same or different from what he has been doing. Actually, he has been developing American national model since 1980s, and the equation is now more than 3,000, 3,000 equations. But it never got uh, uh, completed yet. So, so this is the situation. And I found that my method of accounting system dynamics, which I'm going to uh, uh, explain very briefly, uh, is uh, totally different from his method. So in this sense, my macroeconomic modeling is uh, the first uh, uh, macroeconomic modeling based upon accounting system dynamics. So this is the situation of my research. So this is a macroeconomic system of a view. So I, uh, I took, central bank and uh, banks, consumers, producers, government, and foreign sector. But in my paper, there is no uh, foreign trade yet. So I'm trying to uh, model how those sectors transact uh, make transactions. So to record transaction transactions, uh, uh, I used a system dynamics method. So, I understood that you have totally a uh, different uh, background and may not be uh, so much familiar with system dynamics. So system dy dynamics is a very, very interesting uh, tool of modeling, which could be applied to elementary kids to the uh, uh, rocket scientist. So you can't believe that the same model can be used for all different kinds of uh, levels and with 
many different kinds of background. As a matter of fact, System Dynamics Society consists of the uh, researchers and people with the background of economics and business and ecology and philosophy, political scientists, and K through 12 uh, uh, edu educators. So all different people with different background come to System Dynamics Society. They use the same tool of system thinking and system dynamics. So in the same way, you come here with the same shared vision of monetary reform. So in this sense, uh, 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 the system dynamics very, could be very appealing to, uh, to your analysis. That's what I hope in my presentation. <clears throat> OK. Idea is very simple. <laughs> yes, that's pretty sorry. This Japanese, oh, this one to go. Ah, OK, sorry. OK. okay. Idea is very simple. From now on, you'll see a lot of diagram stock and uh, inflow and outflow. So this is the same as uh, the hot tub analogy. Whenever you open the uh, hot tub, you get uh, water flow and water also outflow. So whenever you see this stock and flow diagrams, you can imagine this hot tub. So that is why it is easy understood by everybody. And uh, if you don't like this uh, simple idea, you can go into the uh, uh, stock as an uh, integral of all differential equations. So whenever you create uh, 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 icons of stock and flow, computer can uh, build a differential equation behind. So we need not worry about any differential equation. OK, that is how uh, uh, system dynamics method can create model. So it's very simple. You can start modeling in 10 minutes. How we can use this one? So this is the uh, first paper I said about my system direct model applied to double booking accounting. So accounting consists of asset side, a balance sheet consists of asset side and liabilities and equities. All uh, items in the balance sheet have to be a stock in system dynamics terminology. And only stock can be changed by inflows or outflows. Suppose if this is a cash uh, which you have, uh, you have uh, at your bank, then savings becomes, the uh, savings inc increase your uh, uh, deposit. And expenditure uh, also uh, reduce your, uh, your money at the bank. So this is how we, uh, we uh, model the uh, dynamics of stock and flow. So, so it's clear to everybody. <laughs> So how we can use uh, this uh, model? I, I just uh, like to show the simple models. <laughs> so all transactions in, in, a, in a micro, macro level have to go through the uh, financial statement. Whenever you make transactions, you change your personal balance sheet. At the same time, the, the, op uh, the partners of your transaction also have to change, your, uh, to change his or her uh, uh, balance sheet. So this is the simplest uh, macro models uh, the, uh, I created. It consists of three sectors, uh, central banks, and commercial banks, and non-financial sectors. <coughs> and each sector have asset and debit and equity. But equity is not appearing here because there will be no interest income yet. This is the simplest one. So I think most of you are familiar with uh, the YouTube video, Money Asset. I assume it's money as it's very interesting a cartoon and I repeatedly watch. And exactly the story can be explained by the simple diagram. In the beginning, people have uh, say 200 ounces of gold, the asset, then at the same time their equity is 200 of gold. Then one day uh, they thought it's not safe to keep gold at hand, so they brought gold to, uh, gold, to gold smiths. So gold smiths kept gold in their board, and instead they issued goldsmith note. And goldsmith note are now brought to the uh, owner, and they start using goldsmith note as a currency. So in the same way, the, that goldsmith note increases the equity. So always equities uh, and uh, asset this balance. So now uh, people start using uh, gold certificate instead of real gold. And part of the gold certificate, certificate could be used as a currency, and the remaining, which they don't use 
uh, nowadays could be uh, made deposit to the bank. Actually, bank uh, entice the uh, money in exchange for uh, interest, but in this model, there will be no interest yet, because this is the simplest starting macro.